You're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Sarah Buck. Since 1944, St. Mary's Home for Disabled Children has been a pillar of hope in the Norfolk community. And thanks to the generosity of the community it serves and events like its annual gala and auction, St. Mary's Home is able to continue its tradition of caring for children and now even adults. Please join me in welcoming Molly Pavlik and Mary Helen Hilton, who are going to give us all the insider information about this year's event. Welcome, ladies. Thank Thanks. you. Nice so, Mary Helen, thank you so much for being here and um, being able to talk to us about St. Mary's Home. It's such a wonderful organization, and um, we just want to learn more about it. So why don't you tell me, tell me about St. Mary's? Great, Sarah. Um, we're happy to be here today. Um, St. Mary's used to be in downtown Norfolk, and then we've moved out to um, across from Santera Lee. Mm -hmm. And we provide uh, nursing care, uh, school, physical therapy to 88 children and 12 young adults, um, all on site. They, they live at St. Mary's. And about um, two years ago, we expanded our care to include uh, 12 adults. So. Wonderful. And earlier we were chatting and um, you, were, you were talking to me about how much you enjoy working there and you know what really drew you to work at St. Mary's. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about that today too? Okay, Sarah. Um, well, I was working at the Mariners Museum and someone called me about coming to interview at St. Uh, St. Mary's and um, I had never heard of St. Mary's before and I was a little bit skeptical because I thought I might be sad and I mm -hmm. came and I visited and I toured and I had quite a different reaction than I anticipated. And I was really inspired because our staff, um, nurses, therapists, they look at our kids for what they can do um, as opposed to what they can't. And they make such a huge difference in not only their lives, but the lives of their families. Yeah, that's wonderful. And, and um, Molly, the auxiliary is actually in place to make sure that these programs can continue and that St. Mary's can exist, right? That's right, Sarah. We have, we have been an integral part of St. Mary's since shortly after it was established in the 1940s. And we still have a couple of members that have been with us for over 50 years, mm -hmm. which is incredible. But we do have uh, several programs, and we try to provide funds uh, for things that, that are special for the children, for excursions, special equipment that uh, they might need and Medicaid cannot provide and we are happy to do it and we're very excited about our upcoming gala. So the gala helps you raise funds to do that. Talk to me about the, the gala. The, well, the gala is our biggest fundraiser and probably the biggest fundraiser that, that St. Mary's Home has mm -hmm. during the year. This is our 11th year and it's the first year we're going to be in downtown Norfolk. We've always hosted it in Virginia Beach in years past and we thought, Gosh, St. Mary's is in Norfolk. We need to, we need to be in Norfolk yeah. this year. So we'll be at the Half Moon Center, the gorgeous Half Moon Cruise and Celebration Center on April 16th. Mm -hmm. Starts at 6 o'clock. And uh, we have a, a wonderful evening of, in store. We will have live music. We've got a terrific auction this year and some wonder, a wonderful live auction with uh, a trip to France. Oh, which is very a, nice. A, a beautiful home in Provence that, that uh, people can bid on. We also have a trip to Sedona, Arizona, a trip to New York City, and several fine pieces of art, and a few other surprises, too. Mm -hmm. Well, I also saw that there's a chance to win a brand new car. That is huge. Yeah, so that, Checkered Flag has donated a car. This is the sixth year that Checkered Flag has been kind enough to jo donate a car. This year it's a Toyota Corolla. Mm -hmm. We will have 1,600 tickets, only 1,600 mm -hmm. tickets, which we will be selling, and we are also selling those online. They're available right now. They're $25 or five for 100 a bargain if you buy five. Yeah, and, and really good odds too, one in 1600, right? One in 1600, right? that's right. And if you can't go to the gala, it's a great way to still support the kids at St. Mary's. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So um, the funds obviously just go a long way. They, they help provide the care, they help let the children go out and experience and do things that kids do. You were talking about a, a prom. And, and fun things like that. They do. Well, the, the children have, have had a prom every year for the past several years, and we have provided the funds. The auxiliary board has provided the funds for the prom clothes for the girls and the tuxedos for the boys and yeah. mm -hmm. take them out on an excursion to try on dresses, just like everybody else in high school would do. What a do. lovely experience. It's wonderful. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a fabulous event. April 16th at the Half Moon Cruise and Celebration Center. Tickets are available, so call and, and, and purchase your tickets so you, can, so you can help the kids. Thank mm -hmm. you ladies so much for being here. 
So remember, yeah. even if you can't make it to the gala, don't miss your chance to win a brand new car from Checkered Flag and help out the kids who need your help at St. Mary's. Thanks for watching. For Hot Ticket, I'm Sarah Buck.